and you're ready to nail it. Another application for the advanced custom support is to use it post-surgically to retain proliferative tissue when you have exposed lamina. I've used it extensively for all types of bone removal and necrotic bone. Put it directly over the surgical site as soon as you're through with surgery. You develop a shoe that has a wing such as this. This is made out of one quarter inch aluminum. This has been forged out to basically meet the shape of this particular foot. Of course, this all needs to be done prior to surgery. As you can see, I have a gap all the way around. It does not fit very tightly. And if you look at the bottom, you can see the bottom. It's been drilled and tapped for quarter inch bolts. The purpose here is to be able to put firm, uniform pressure over this area to have secondary cornification of the lamina to occur in a very normal position. If you do not keep consistent pressure against this area, the lamina will fill this entire void and you will get cornification, but you also get a permanent scar developed along the anterior face. <coughs> the product that I'm now using for all my post-surgical work it's called Dermolin. It reduces some tissue swelling. It controls a bit of pain. And it also has a very slow healing pattern, which uh, eliminates a lot of extra date and the normal problems that you would have with many of the liquid products. Uh, Metadine has also been a very helpful product. But this time, the Dermolin seems to be a bit more advantageous. So I will just put a slight covering over the area. One piece of gauze. You don't need much bulk under there. You simply place it over the over the area. Put the plate on. You bring it in to meet the alignment of your holes. This is very important. If you do not do this early in the in the setup stage, you don't have the uniform pressure that you were you were desiring. As I'm putting the bolts in, I'm also pushing the putty in around the edge to create a nice good uniform fit. Before I developed the use of this shoe, I was frustrated because many of my feet were very small following this type of surgery. But if you're using an elasticon type of route trying to create pressure on this side, your gravity will shrink. The hook capsule, and over a period of two or three months of bandaging, many times these feet would shrink as much as two sizes. This way I can, I can keep uniform pressure here without having to restrict circulation of the cornering bend, and I don't have to worry about shrinking the overall size of the foot. <clears throat> I always apply a bandage over all my post-surgical feet, even though I've got the protection of the hospital plate, just to eliminate any debris that may soak through the, the hospital plate. I use a combine bandage, I cut it long enough to come up the back, go up the front, you fold the ears in. The principle of this bandage is to secure the bandage with the pastern first. Pull the ears in, make it nice and uniform, nice and snug, this way you're protecting the corner of your band. You're securing your bandage by way of the pastor. This bandage can be worn for several days, no problem whatsoever. You do not have to worry about a horse stepping out of it. You don't have to worry about restricting circulation to corner your band. And I just apply a little duct tape across the bottom. So now you've got a nice secure bandage, very uniform. The duct tape keeps you from wearing through. Like I said, it's good for several days.